In this video, we'll show you how to install ELS in GTA 5 with LSPDFR. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So ELS is a cool script that gives you more control over your police cars, lights, and sirens, making them look and feel way more realistic. So first, let's download the files we need. For the ELS, you can go to lspdfr.com. I'll put the link in the description. So here, what you need to do is click download this file and then read the terms, click agree and download, and download the latest release. And the download should start. Next, Next, for it to work, we also need Scribble V. Also put the link in the description, so just click that, and here just click the blue download button, and it will start the download. Alright, now we also need ELS Ready Police Car. So you can go to lspdfr.com, and here you can click the vehicle model section, and then make sure the ELS compatibility is set on to ELS, and you will see all of the ELS Ready Police Car. So for this example, I'll use SAP's Police BMW M5. I'll also put the link in the description. Next, to install the police car, we will use OpenIV. So you can go to openiv.com and here you just click download now and save it somewhere on your PC. All right, after you download everything, you will have ELS zip file and that's Gribbook V, DLS ready police car and the OpenIV installer. So to install all of them, you will need your GTA 5 directory. To find it on Steam, you can go to library and look for your GTA 5, right click on it, manage, and then select browse local files on epic games you can go to library and then look for your gta 5 click the three dots next to it go to manage and here click the folder icon to go to your gta 5 directory now you have your gta 5 directory let's go ahead and install scribble v so you can open the zip file with winrar 7 zip but for this i will use winrar so right click and then open it with winrar here go to the bin folder and then what we need here is the input x input and scribble v simply put them inside your gta 5 directory so just drag it and drop it into your gta 5 directory and that's done next we can install els so let's open up the zip file inside it you'll have media documentation and installation files if you have problems you can go to documentation and look for user guide default controls and stuff like that but for this i will just go straight to installation files gta 5 and then we have have ELS folder advanced hook v ELS INI and ASI so we're gonna drag and drop it into GTA 5 directory just like that and that's done ELS is successfully installed so next let's install the police car to do that we need open IV so let's install open IV open up DXC files here click continue read the terms and condition check I accept continue again and then here don't change anything click continue again and then download the necessary files and after that's done you can close it and open up open iv go ahead and do that now uh, you'll be greeted with this select gta5 windows and here we need to locate gta5 location so just click browse and then go to your gta5 directory select folder and click continue and we're inside OpenIV now. So the first thing we need to do is enable edit mode. You can click the blue button here. Just click it and then click yes. And next, hover to the top menu here and click tools, ASI manager. And then you're gonna download ASI loader, OpenIV ASI, and you can also install open camera. Close that. Let's open up the police car mods. And inside it, what you need to look for is the police vehicle files. It will look like this, YTDYFT. It's gonna be like police one, two, three, and also the ELS files like this, okay? But first, let's install the vehicle files. To do that, you can go to mods folder. If you don't have it, you can go to your GTA 5 directory and then create a new folder, name it mods, and copy the update folder and paste it inside the mods folder. It's like that. All right, let's continue. So now go to mods, update, and then x64, DLC packs, and here, scroll down and look for the latest patch day. For me, it's this one. Open up the folder, go to DLC, x64, levels, GTA 5, vehicle, and I'm gonna put the vehicle files here. So just like that, and then just drag and drop it. And that's done for the police car. Let's go back and install the ELS files. You can go to your GTA file directory, open up the ELS folder, and go to pack default, and we're gonna put the files from the zip file into the ELS folder so like that and that's done all right everything is done now but you can go to your GTA 5 directory and then look for ELS.ini you can right click and open it up with notepad and here if you scroll down you'll see the control section you can change the control button here so for example it's 74 so you can go to this website here i'll put the link in the description so for example let's put l at 76 so 74 is j so you can check every button or you can replace them to make things easier right before you launch gta 5 on rockstar games launcher go to settings and make sure you disable battle eye so you're not going to gta online and risk getting banned all right we're inside gta 5 now let's go to the police station and go on duty and then let's go to the police garage 
and see if the police car mod is installed. The police inceptor, there we go. So we installed it correctly. Now let's see if the emergency lighting system is working properly. Let's press J on the keyboard and there we go. If the button doesn't work, you can always check the INI files I showed you and change the code.